Hello students, how are you all? Hopefully you are having an amazing day. I am Muhammad Naeem Amin Bhatti and today the topic of our discussion will be Biography of Carol Churchill. Uh, she was a playwright uh, from uh, British Empire and uh, if we talk about her, she was born in 1938 on 3rd September in London, England and uh, was moved towards the Montreal. Her family was moved towards the Montreal uh, just because of the Second World War and uh, she was uh, uh, basically a playwright and her nationality was uh, English and she came back to England once again in 1956-1957 to attend the Oxford University. She is the writer of the uh, very famous play, The Top Girls. So once again, in her uh, biography, we discuss some points here. The born in London, father was a political cartoonist and her mother was a, a model and actress. And uh, she lived for the course of 10 to 15 years in the Montreal. And uh, she was graduated from Oxford. She studied English and especially she had done her bachelor's in British English literature. After that in 1960s uh, she was uh, uh, writing some of her minor plays like uh, uh, you can say that uh, the plays such like uh, which were not so famous and uh, she had also worked for BBC in 1961 to 72 and she also married in 1961 was uh, the mother of three children and uh, her husband's name was David. In 1972 the first major success she has achieved was the owners it was the play which was uh, uh, something which you can say the worthy of importance and it was uh, practiced and uh, launched in the Royal Court Theatre. After that in 1974-75, she lived in the Royal Court Theatre as a resident uh, playwright in the Royal Court Theatre, first women playwright. And she had uh, this distinction that she was the first women playwright whose plays were to be performed in the Royal Court Theatre. In 1970s, uh, the Monstrous Regiment Theatre and Joint Stock Company Theatres, she had worked with them and she is still active and fresh and working as a playwright. These were the three, uh, basically three major theatres for which she had worked. The very first one was the Royal Court Theatre, the second was Monstrous Regiment Theatre and the third was Joint Stock Company Theatre. And she done a lot of direction there, the rehearsals and wrote the plays for different works, field works, worked as an actor and uh, uh, she has done a lot of experiences here. Her play Mad Forest was published in 1990. After that uh, the Romanian students Cloud9, Serious uh, Money and Fan, these are some of the plays which are worthy of importance. So if we talk about the major plays uh, of this writer, these are the owners was published in 1972 after that uh, uh, light shining in Buckinghamshire, uh, Vinegar Tom, Traps, Cloud Nine, Top Girls that is the play that we will study here 1982, Fan uh, after that uh, Soft Cops, Mouthful of Birds, uh, Serious Money, Mad Forest, Lives of the Great Poisoners, The Skirrer, uh, after that uh, Blue Heart, This is a Cheer, Far Away, A Number, Drunk Enough to Say I Love You, Seven Jewish Children, that was a play which was written for the Gaza in 2009, and Love and Information. <coughs> Now here is a, a brief summary of her uh, biography that Carol Leslie Churchill was her full name is a British playwright whose work has been associated with the surrealist and the postmodern theatre was born in London on 3rd September 1938 her family moved to Montreal after World War II 
where Churchill matriculated at the uh, Treadwell School for the Girls in 1957, and Churchill moved back to the England to attend the Oxford University, where she earned a B.A. degree in English Literature. And in 1960, during her time at Oxford, Churchill wrote four plays. Downstairs, you have no need to be uh, frightened. Having a wonderful time and easy death, uh, all of which were performed by Oxford students' theatre groups. In 1961, Churchill married David Harrister, with whom she has three sons. After that, Churchill started her post-college career, writing the radio and television dramas for the BBC. the british broadcasting company her notable works uh, her notable works from this era include the aunts 1962 livestock 1967 and about him 1971 remember that these are some of the seven plays which were not so famous at that time but then churchill started to move on towards something bigger In 1972, Churchill wrote her first stage play, Owners, which premiered in London Royal Court Theatre. She became the resident dramatist there from 1974 to 1975. And during 1970s and 1980s, Churchill worked with the numerous theatre companies, including the Joint Stock and the Monstrous Regiment. After that, she had won the Obie Awards for the, her plays, Cloud Nine. She had won the Obie Award for three times. and three respective plays are cloud 9 in 1979 top girls in 1982 and serious money in 1987 she has also won the two susan smith blackburn prize for fan 1984 and serious money <clears throat> during the 1990s and 2000 she continued to write plays and more experimental works such as hotel 1997 a collaborative sung ballad set in the hotel room and love and information 2012 which is an experimental college <coughs> of 100 characters performing over 50 short fragmentary episodes if we talk about the popularity of churchill then her drama is widely recognized for abandoning the realistic approaches to the theater and favor of the surrealist approach experimentation post modern exploration of the language and an emphasis on the sexual politics and the legacies of the feminism she was basically advocating the feminism too she draws upon uh, the berlet berchets and anton artrets experimental approaches to the theater which consider plays to be the political art form with the power of transformation the false sense of reality Churchill is associated with the socialist theater and left wing critical responses to the policies of the Margaret Thatcher. Churchill wrote Top Girls during the Thatcher's rule and explores that the complicated relationship between the capitalism and feminism. It was basically a comparative and contrastic technique to uh, compare the capitalism and feminism in both of from both of the ends. So Churchill has translated and published a version of Seneca's Thyestes that is a classical play and she has uh, published it again and an adaptation of the August Strindberg's A Dream City if we talk about her inventions she has the non naturalistic technique women's role is highlighted in her dramas possibility and position in society the owner was in 1972 owning the things that the person of the capitalism or gender problems exploitations of the others like politics and in the private lives we we'll talk about the form that is always expectedly to be unexpected and dialogues are carefully constructed dialogue engineering is uh, pretty much common in her dialogue slashes even the uh, pause are more important than the words and uh, look behind technique and multimedia forms are also there in her dramas if we talk about top girls it is basically the uh, play from the carrel churchill and was premiered at the royal court theater on august 28 1982 and has won the ob award for that and basically uh, top girls revolves around the marilyn which is uh, marilyn is basically a business woman successful business woman and 
she invites uh, five different uh, girls from different times and she invites them to sit around a table and uh, to talk about about their capabilities about their uh, different types of obstacles and their uh, all the experiences and their obedience uh, about their future marriage about their promises about their rewards about their uh, thinkings about their uh, habits and she had uh, a lot of experience to explore all things from the different timetables and different genres of life so the very first uh, women is Isabella Bird from 1831 to 1904 and after that Lady Nijo from 1258 AD Pope John is a disguised as a man there and Pope between 854 to 856 he has remained a Pope there after that Dulgaret she is the uh, uh, Bruegel's painting women and uh, patent uh, Griselda she is basically for the, from the time of Boccaccio and Petrarch and Chaucer and after that uh, Merlin herself and five of these women are sitting around the table and talking so much and having chat different uh, perspectives so as their stories unfold success came with a price so loneliness pain suffering killed or kidnapped abandoned children losses of loved ones anarchism and uh, humor irony at the several layers if we talk about uh, great Griselda, she says that I never eat pudding and Marlene says that you, everyone is going to eat and she says that oh if everyone is then I don't mind. So these are uh, the stories of the self experiences of the top girls from the different timelines of the history and uh, they talk about the different emotional deprivation, the real alternatives uh, are lacking isolation, country daughters, sons, careers and uh, <coughs> aggression, ruthlessness and capitalistic interests and uh, feministic approaches. They have a lot about a lot of things to talk about and uh, uh, about this drama the top girls we will study in our next lecture hopefully you have understood all the things which uh, I have mentioned here until the further video. It's goodbye from me.